I was working on Chase Farm Hospital. It's a new block, £150 million project, six floors to be built. I've got a year to 18 months work there. But as soon as I got identified with my history in the construction industry, backlisting, I was just moved off site straight away. I went to the company, I said to them, uh, I'd like to be directly employed by them. I was working for an agency. I put it in writing to the company. The agency come down and he goes, you've got to get off site. I said, why is that? He goes, oh, we're laying you off and uh, you got to go right now. I said, what, just me? And they said, yeah. This was a Tuesday Tuesday morning and I was fucking myself off the job. I said, I'm not going. I said, if you don't go, you're going to be taken off by force. W Portsmouth is the biggest shareholder of one facility. At the moment we're outside MBDA, it's a missile factory. This is W Portsmouth, one facility's biggest contract, so I'm here asking for a job back. MBDA, I understand they treat their workers very well, but if they've got union buses in their supply chain, it is going to affect on their business. One facility, blacklisted? Yeah. Mm. David Norsworthy. Pardon? David Norsworthy. Okay. I'm going to be here months until this is resolved. All oh, right. I'll be here every day for, for months. Our company will let you stay here for months because yeah. obviously you don't know the fence line. It's MBDAs. Well, we'll have to come and watch that bridge when we come. I'll be here for months. Okay, mate. No worries. No. Before I got that job, I had three months, four months out of work, and basically I've got no real struggle. I can't get a job, so. Something's gonna have to go, something's gonna have to give. Hello mate, you are? Right? Hi, yeah, yeah. How are you going on? What's this about? It's about one facility and oh, uh, yeah. David Norsworthy is taking on himself to start blacklisting and union busting union members. Okay. So, as there is, this is the biggest time we'll be here until we resolve. One of their clients, yeah. Okay, I'll let them know. Okay, thank, thank you. you. They as far be, as yeah. one facility are concerned, um, we maintain MBDA UK site. Yeah. Okay. And because it's a Listex site, I'm going to have to report this to security and they'll have to ask you gents to remove. You can have your demonstration, your placards up, but you just can't have them on these goals. This fence line has perimeter intruder detection systems on it. If it's damaged, um, I don't know who would actually get to pay the bill. Because of the product and the business that this company represents, you know. Yeah, we're going to be here for months. Are you? Until we get a job. <laughs> All right, okay. Okay. Like well, why pick MBDA? Because why pick me? Why pick on me? We've got major electrical contractors, HR managers, sending emails, recommending the vetting processes of agencies. How they were very effective out of blacklisting and keeping off site trade union members. And this is in a partnership agreement. So it's institutionalized. It's institutionalized from the JRB. The JRB seems powerless and, and reluctant to even tackle the issue. It's well, I'm just, I'm just, it's, well, it's nothing to do with me. Result. It's got it's nothing at all to do with uh, one facility. And all I can say is um, I'm going to have to consult with the police now because you are Off you go. obstructing a Off you go. secure site. Yeah. Okay, no problem. No problem. We're here for months. Well, we'll see about that. Okay. Good luck. Good morning. How are you doing? How are you? How are you doing? I'm Martin, nice to meet you. I'm on the construction industry blacklist. Right. So, I don't know what raising mean, health and safety issues on other sites. Right. And uh, being a union member, basically. Right, okay. Well, you've got the right to peaceful protest. I'm not going to interfere right. with that. I'm assuming you're part of Unite. I am, yeah. What, what are they doing to help you? They're 
looking into things oh, at the moment, things are developing. Do you, do you know what I mean? The other companies involved are McAlpine's and Vinci. We all know their history, but uh, are they behind this at this stage? I don't know. I've got no issues with them companies per se at the moment. Uh, we're just waiting to find out whether they'll welcome me back on the project or not.